This section is on the microsurgery training using laboratory animals. Laboratory animals are used during the microsurgery training. They are specifically bred for research purposes such as testing, diagnosing, manufacturing, and training. From their grateful sacrifices, we could make such an astonishing progress in biotechnology and medical technology. In the microsurgery training, rats are used due to their vessel diameter. The advantages of rats are their strong resistance to diseases, low price, and easier access to the market. Rats tolerate longer an aesthetic duration than other animals. Their vessel walls are thinner than human vessel walls. Moreover, they have vessels with much smaller lumen diameter than humans. Therefore, it's more difficult to operate on them. Hence, they are great tools to practice for the clinical vessel anastomosis. Nevertheless, we emphasize that you should always remember their sacrifices and be grateful while dealing with any laboratory animals. In order to perform ethical animal testing, our Laboratory Animal Research Center strictly follows the national law on laboratory animals and the international guidelines established by foundations such as ILAR and ALAC. As the 3R rule says, we seek for the alternatives to animal testing, only use appropriate number of animals, and minimize the pain and stress inflicted on the animals. We endeavor to abide by the 3R rule, which is the foundation of both national and international guidelines, and we conduct experiments and training only as written in the animal testing proposal approved by the Institutional Animal Care and Use Committee IACUC. Our training proceeds as shown here. First, you will learn about choosing and applying for the animals. If you would like to apply for the animals, you should submit the application to the person in charge at least two weeks before the date of your training. You must apply at least two weeks beforehand as it takes approximately one week after the application for the animals to arrive at our facility and another week for the acclimation of the animals. The pre-operative preparation proceeds as follows. Restraint, anesthesia, and skin preparation. Restraint refers to the restraining of the animal to be still for a certain amount of time while it is still conscious. You can restrain a rat by using your hands or a piece of draping. You are required to wear a gown, mask, and gloves as you may be allergic to any secretion, especially urine. Moreover, you should always wash your hands after the training. During the microsurgery training, you will use an injectable anesthetic. A mixture of zolotil and rompin will be used for the rat anesthesia. You will mix 0.1 ml of zolotil and 0.04 ml of rompin for every 100 grams of the rat body weight and inject to the abdominal cavity. If necessary, you may inject to the muscles or veins. The anesthetic duration is approximately 60 minutes. However, it may vary depending on the age and health of the animal, so you need to keep an eye on the animal. If you're performing a laparotomy and resecting organs, you must use a sufficient amount of anesthetics as the surgery will cause severe pain to the animal. As the skin preparation, you may shave or spray alcohol on the surgical site. This video shows all of the procedures including the restraint, anesthesia, and skin preparation. For any trainee who is not familiar with restraining animals, we will show you how to restrain using a draping. 
When you're taking out an animal from its cage, please hold its stomach instead of the tip of its tail and move it gently. Gently place a piece of draping over the animal, wrap it around the body to prevent it from escaping, and firmly hold the tail and the body to restrain it. Lift the tail and the bottom upwards to show the abdomen and inject the anesthetics into the lower right abdomen. At this point, before releasing the anesthetics, you should pull the syringe a little to check if the needle is properly injected in the abdomen. Gently put the animal back in the cage to avoid alarming it and wait until it's properly anesthetized. Once it's fully unconscious, proceed with the skin preparation and shaving. For your convenience, the Minimally Invasive Surgery Education Center will help you with all the procedures up to this point including the restraint, anesthesia, and skin preparation. Once the pre-operative preparation is complete, you can begin with the microsurgery training. Once the training is over, the animals will be euthanized. Euthanasia refers to the practice of intentionally ending a life in a short period of time to minimize the pain of the laboratory animal. In the case of the microsurgery training, we usually euthanize the animals by cutting their major vessels to drain out the blood or by dissecting the diaphragm as the animal is already fully anesthetized with an opened abdomen. Once the disposal of the carcasses is complete, you're done with the training. Euthanized animals should be placed in a black plastic bag in room number 3. Once it's sealed, come out to the entrance of the operating room. Walk to the end of the right hallway. Grab one of the stickers next to the freezer for the carcasses. Write down your identity information and stick it on the plastic bag. Weigh the body using a scale and fill out the carcasses disposal chart. On the carcasses disposal chart, please fill in all of the data including the date, identity information of the trainee, type of the animal, and the body weight of the animal, and hit the save button to save the information. Check if the chart is properly saved by looking at the main screen and complete the disposal by placing the plastic bag in the freezer. The microsurgery training, euthanasia, and disposal of the carcasses are all your duties. Please complete all of these instead of only performing the microsurgery training. This is the end of the training on the microsurgery training with laboratory animals. Thank you.